afternoon, ma'am. When do you put that magnificent display of prizes on show? Oh, not till the day itself. I remember a superb cup from last year. The Grantham Cup. It was donated by the late Lord Grantham for the best bloom in the village. And who won it? I did. Well done. And the year before? Her ladyship won that one too. Heavens! How thrilling. And before that? You've met my father. Good afternoon, Mr. Molesley. What are you showing this year? Oh, this and that. Only the finest roses in the village. Really? What an achievement. It's a wonderful area for roses. We're very lucky. We'll see some beautiful examples right across the show, won't we, Mr. Molesley? If you say so, your ladyship. Show? Oh, I thought I was in for another telling off about the hospital. No, this time it's the flower show. I've been to see old Mr. Molesley's garden, and his roses are the most beautiful I've ever laid eyes on. Go on. You may not know it, but I believe the committee feel obliged to give you the cup for the best bloom as a kind of local tradition. No, no, I do, I do not know that. I thought I usually won the prize for best bloom in the village because... My gardener had grown the best bloom in the village. Yes. But you don't usually win, do you? You always win. Yes. I have been very fortunate in that regard. But surely, when Mr. Molesley's garden is so remarkable and he's so very proud of his roses... You talk of Mr. Molesley's pride. What about my gardener's pride? Is he to be sacrificed on the altar of Mosley's ambition? All I'm asking is that you release them from any obligation to let you in. Why not just tell them to choose whichever flower is best? But that is precisely what they already know and do. My word, Molesley. Splendid roses, as usual. Well done. Thank you, Your Lordship. All the stalls are set out very well this year. This is enchanting. Do we grow this? I doubt if you've got that one, Your Ladyship. I've only just found it myself. Is it a secret? Or could you tell Mr Brockett? I'd be glad to, my lady. He should come and see the rose garden. He could give us some ideas. Old Molesley's a champion, or he would be in a fairer world. Don't you start. I'm afraid I've been annoying Cousin Violet on that score. If Mosley deserves the first prize for his flowers, the judges will give it to him. They wouldn't dare. Really, Robert, you make me so annoyed. Isn't it possible I should win the thing on merit? I think the appropriate answer to that, Mama, is yes, dear. When you ran off last night, I hope you hadn't thought me rude. <laughs> Certainly not. I monopolized you at dinner. I had no right to any more of your time. You see, Edith and I had this sort of bet. Oh, please, don't apologize. I had a lovely evening, and I'm glad we're on speaking terms. Now, I should look after my mother. Why was Cousin Matthew in such a hurry to get away? Don't be stupid. I suppose you didn't want him when he wanted you. And now it's the other way around. You have to admit, it's quite funny. I'll admit that if I ever wanted to attract a man, I'd steer clear of those clothes and that hat. You think yourself so superior, don't you? Oh. And I think she who laughs last, laughs longest. Did that missing box of yours ever turn up? Oh, it was a fuss about nothing. They must have put it back on the wrong shelf when they were dusted. Bates found it this morning. Next time, have a proper look before you start complaining. I'm sure the servants are frightened half to Thanks. death. Mea culpa. And now the Grantham Cup for the best bloom in the village. And the Grantham Cup is awarded to... Mm. 
Mr. William Molesley. For his Comtess, Caboros Rose. Bravo, well done. Bravo. Congratulations, Mr. Mosley. Thank you, my lady. Thank you for letting me have it. It is the judges who decide these things, not me. But very well. been a real sacrifice. And bravely born. I don't know what everyone's on about, but I... All is well, my dear. All is well. <laughs>